So number one is write original and high quality content on your website. So this is one of the crucial things for your website. Make sure all content on your website that you want to get it monetized should be original. Like you should write them by yourself. Write them by yourself. And then what I mean by high quality is at least let these articles be between um um 800 to 5000 words yeah that that's what i mean by high quality elaborate some points you see this article for instance look you see this one point and then you see the explanations here i don't i'm not meaning um write a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense but then at least elaborate on a point you make in every article to make it look high quality yeah so that's it for the first point and the second one is at least before you apply to monetize your website try to have at least 20 to 30 unique articles this your website so the point or the main reason why i'm saying this is you know um normally adsense they have um for adsense for websites they have this requirement you should get at least 100 visitors a day before they approve the fourth point here is make sure you don't use copyrighted um, images and videos so if you want to use a video in your um in an article on your website let me show you this so i have this this is a sample how you can insert a video in your article so you just have to yes so this is from youtube you just have to paste the youtube link here so when they view when they view um the video it will be like they're on your website but then the credit goes to the owner of the video but then this video is mine this, this is a video from my channel yeah so that's how you should do it and then the images to try to um try to always um give credit to the owners i think that's under fair use but that doesn't mean always use copyrighted images try to get free images uh, to get free images you can hop on websites like this this is pixels.com i think it's owned by canva also so here you can get free images to use all these images are free all these images are free you can use them so that's it for the point four let's move to point five and then have some vital pages like about us, contact us, disclaimer, terms and conditions, and privacy policy. So you can skip the privacy policy if you have terms and conditions. And then if you have um disclaimer, you should have a disclaimer. You should have about us. You should have contact us. These are vital pages. So you see my website. I want you people to grasp what I'm saying, like in a real life something. I don't just want to. Be doing theory stuff so you see this website it has contact us you see advertise there's no part but then you have terms and conditions you have contact us you have about us i've turned on my i've turned off my disclaimer let me see if i have the disclaimer here i think i've turned it off but at least you should have terms and conditions here so here is my social media handles so that's it Try to have these vital pages, at least terms and conditions or disclaimer and then about and then contact us. So the about us should have information about you, your website, not you, but your website. Contact us, we'll help them contact you. So here we have our mail inserted here. So you just fill in your mail, your subject, and then you enter the message you want for you want to give us and then the terms and conditions this is how it looks like uh -huh. so for the terms and conditions i think it's very very difficult you see it's a lot it's very difficult to create terms and conditions so there are websites or ais that will do that for you automatically so we are going to uh, insert um, the link of these websites so you you use them so i think on this um on this website we used temly desert i'm going to insert a link so that you can use 
their websites to get or to generate terms and conditions to generate your disclaimer and then your privacy policy as well so let's move to the next point so the next point make sure your website gives good user experience user good user experience here we are talking about the navigation the loading time the content cleanliness so you see this um this um article layout you read small you come here you read small the layout is very very good and the na navigation is very very easy so you can click here to move to a different article you can click here to go to top automatically and then you see i, I have no ads here but then i have an ad here i have no ads here you see when you open some website they have ads all over and then my ads are in every paragraph so look at something you see we have an ad here but then i didn't insert an ad here and then when you come down you see an ad that's it it should be very very easy to navigate very the content should be clear and then your loading time to loading time to have to be superb so look at this i click on it and then it loads and i think my website is even slow you click on it it loads simple as that because I think there was a statistic that was saying when somebody clicks on your website and then it delays for uh, for more than five to six seconds, they hop on a different website. I think that was a stat that search engine um, was in one of the search engine magazines, something like that. I read it in one of the search engine magazines. And then just like I was saying, it should have at least 100 unique visitors a day so there's a website you can use to check your visitors brand new blogs i don't think this website is still working let's click on it to see it's not working it's not working now so i think i'll have to remove this link from the article but then there are you, you can use google analytics google search console so that's it and then the last point is make sure your website doesn't show adult content or explicit content so google don't just like on youtube i think facebook is facebook has the same requirement and stuff don't show other adult content i mean sexually uh, sexual related content and those stuff and then child abuse and those stuff don't share such content if you have such content i think you should monetize it with different monetization platforms there are platforms that also um run ads on sexually um i mean adult content website so i think if you have your website that shows adult content and child abuse i think you should you shouldn't try google because you're never going to get accepted so that's it if you do all this trust me you are going to get your website monetized within seconds you just apply and then you get it you do all to like and then subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming updates so peace